Here's a fun little experiment. Out of the Art of Electronics, uh, we see a capacitance multiplier. Uh, curious to see how it worked. I built my own version out of some parts I had lying about. I didn't have the exact values they had. So I've got it built up here. Got uh, 12 volts going in and about 7.24 volts coming out, or it's actually 7.75 now. Um, so it's about seven and a half milliamps uh, load here. That's the uh, output voltage. And we've got here a dynamic signal analyzer. Um, hope you can see that. So you get an idea of the, uh, this is 60 hertz um, level coming out of the circuit. And we're looking at 17 microvolts. This is the this is the 12 volt input. Now, watch what happens when I change to the output. I can do it. I'm not used to this camera thing, so there I'm changed to the output. Uh, oh, uh, of note here, I've also got it going through a. Uh, It's AC coupled into the analyzer, and that has a low pass, a uh, pretty low frequency pass here, so it should be reasonable for this test. Now, <clears throat> takes a while for the DSA to auto range, but you'll see now all those spurs are disappearing, and the thing is still struggling to auto range because the level's so low. Look at what we've got now. That's a N, that's for nano. So we've got just below uh, one microvolt RMS. So that's a pretty significant reduction in 60 Hertz amplitude. Uh, granted, I'm sure there's ways to draw more current from this, but if you're just powering an op-amp circuit and you want it to be quiet, all you have to do is add four giant electrolytics and a cheap transistor, and you got it made. The capacitance multiplier, an amazing miracle of engineering.